Or waiting for the high sign. And I've received it. I've received the high sign. So we are here. We're at the beginning. Here's a gift from me to you. Child resistant lighters. I'm going to open them with my child resistant knife. Knives and lighters. Together again. Everything you need for a happy child, a happy home, and a safety avoidant mentality. Pick your color. Pick any color. Green. Thank you. We do green for our Senor de Lac. I don't know why they're childproof. I got it working. Shove that in there and get that wick going. Boom. Senor de Lac, may these paintings to us be ever blessed. Saint Expedite. Help us conquer all of our procrastination and get this thing done and seize the day and take the opportunities. Oh, and groundwater. Water taken from the Artesian Friar Street Iron Well. Bayview, Milwaukee. Disco Jesus, save us. Thank you, Cave Dweller, for joining us. Now that we've got all the blessings of the saints out of the way, I encourage you to create your own saint. The first saint I created was not really a creation. He already existed, but he just hadn't been uh, given a promotion. It was Judas, Saint Judas. I had to give Judas a promotion because he was being disrespected so badly. Though, I got to tell you, he knew what was coming. Jesus said to him, uh, he will be cursed. And, of course, he was cursed for millennia, two millennia. He was cursed, people cursing his name. You Judas! Price Street Well, thank you for this iron. Well, now, the Scrouse is bringing them back. Oh, I don't have any water! Cave Dweller, look at these paintings and tell me what you think I should do when I get back. I'm your neighbor, you are my neighbor, Mr. Rogers is dead. Cave dweller, oh, this is water, I have water now. Create your own saint. I started with Saint Judas, uh, didn't really take off exactly. And then I moved on to Saint the Scrouse, patron saint of half-assery, that's me if you don't know, I'm the Scrouse, and uh, that didn't take off too well either, although I did get very half-assed. So now I'm working on Santa Sia. Patron saint of skullduggery, spying and knowing what your enemy is doing and creating havoc in his encampment. Santo Sia. There you go. Let's get a good look here. So he's got the eagle head and he's standing on uh, the earth, also the crossroads, and the zodiac. Well, it's, you can only tell it's a zodiac because it's divided, in, divided into 12 months. Okay. So he's got, because he doesn't know what his right hand, his left hand doesn't know what his right hand is doing, he's got black on there. You can only see it in silhouette. And he's holding a puppet in one hand and a knife in the other. Isn't that genius? You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. That's the actual CIA model. The saint is pronounced Saint Sia, just like Saint Expedite is Saint Expedite. It, it was taken from a package, a shipment, a statue was shipped to a church in New Orleans, and it said expedite on the shipping materials. And they're like, oh, it's Saint Expedite? I never heard of him. And that's how Saint Expedite was born. True story. Well, Saint Sia is born because I decided he's born. So now he's born. And you can call out to him in your time of need and ask him to sow discord in your enemy and create puppets amongst them that will do your will. Okay, this is... I'm, and so I'm just going to work on this. i got to make this all-seeing eagle eye more white. And uh, I don't want to do too much because it's basically just a sketch. I hate the way the suit is done. Okay, I should fix it, right? You're right. You're absolutely correct. I should make it the way I want it. If I'm going to do it, I shall do it right. 
Even though I'm the patron saint of half-assery, there's no excuse for being half-assed. Half-assery doesn't mean half-assed, it just means uh, <laughs> the appearance of half-assedness because you're managing, you're maximizing, um, maximizing output with extreme constraints. My, one of my extreme constraints is money, the other one is talent. So here I am maximizing my output, and this is what you get. This is why I love comics and cartoons. Comics and cartoons embody that. You can have tons of skill or you can have no skill. The words and pictures just mix together automatically. It's the most wonderful media, medium of them all. And it's all American. You'd think that because it's all American, Saint Sia would have promoted it a little more rather than promoting abstract expressionism. But no, I mean, as far as I know, he didn't. But maybe we'll get him to yet. There we go. Blue suit. Some pinstripes on there, baby, and then we'll be good to go. Oh, yeah. His shirt is khaki. Just like the Marines. Shirt is khaki in their dress blues. The CIA actually has a military-looking uniform that you can wear if you're in the CIA. Well, I suppose you could wear it even if you're not in the CIA. Nobody cares. It's not like you're going to be arrested like Stalingrad. Stalingradist Russia. St. Cecilia is in the suit. Okay, this is a little bit better because... Because I said so. Alright, so Team K Brother, how you been? I've missed you. Today I was busy getting mailings ready. I'm trying to spread the word that the Scrouse exists. I can tell that nobody knows. So I'm just um trying to see what I can do to make things happen. Uh, one thing I realized this morning is, you know, maybe I should stop talking about my feelings about media and the control of thought in media because I feel like every time I do, nobody ever sees any of my posts again. So from now on, all my posts on social media will be pro-status quo. Pro-status quo! Huzzah! Forever! Democrat versus Republican. Amen. E pluribus unum. Thank you, Disco Jesus. Fill him up again. I try not to fill Disco Jesus with water because I just chug it too fast, and then I can't ever raise him in toast when I'm speaking with you. Okay, brother! I will sell you this cup of Disco Jesus that I've been drinking out of for 20 bucks. That is cheap, man. Santa Sion. I'm going to put in the more writing. And to do that, I'm going to use this bottle of acrylic, white acrylic ink. Oops. I keep schmutzing on my pants. I should have an apron. And I do. And it is here somewhere. Where is it? Did I take it home? I can't find it. No, it's not here. Well, okay, that's all I got. I don't I mean, that's all I got for protection. Uh, back to what I was working on. Was I using, did I use this big one? The trouble with this acrylic ink is that it cracks. It, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool that it does that, but I feel like it when it, it doesn't adhere to the canvas because it's Crack, it cracks too much. I'll show you. So all the letters were done with that acrylic ink. Can you see that they're... Can you see the crackle in there? Wait, no, not that one. Where is it cracking? Where did I... I just looked at it and saw cracks. Am I going out of my mind? Ah, there it is. See that in the... Le the letters... The letter W? See the, ah, forget it. You can't see it. Who cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. You shall know the truth. Okay, brother, I gotta tell you that uh, I'm not a professional letterer. So I can use my old half-assed excuse 
This is a painting of letters. These are not actual letters. And and the truth will make you free. I believe the Bible actually says set you free, but not the CIA motto. Why does the CIA motto not say set you free, but rather make you free? Well, probably because it's the assumption that Americans already are free and the knowledge that the CIA gathers enables that, makes them free. Okay, so... But, as you know, Cave Dweller, anybody who talks about the CIA is obviously a CIA operative. I'm just waiting for my fat CIA paycheck, those bastards. Doing everything on the cheap. Mind control. That's what it's all about. It's about not paying your operatives. You just mind control them, boom, they do your bidding, and you know, you don't have to pay a cent. It's very efficient. In fact, that's how I'm going to run my business via mind control. All my employees will not be employees. They will just be mind controlled agents that just show up and do work and then leave and forget all about it. Santosia, make it happen. Okay, so that's pretty much done. I think it's done. Do you think it's done? Okay, I better cover up these lines. That's confusing. I'm going to do that with uh, more purple. Dioxazine purple. This purple is mixed with a lot of water, so it's very brush strokey. I'm going to mix this with a lot of white so that it's subdued. And then I'll mix it with some gray, too. Oh, or maybe burnt sienna. Okay, let's do it. I'm losing all my caps, so my paint's drying out. They're around here somewhere. I gotta dig this thing out of the hole now. The only I bought this little palette knife because I like painting with a knife. But it turns out the only knife I like painting is with is this one. Compare the difference. I like this one because it's square on the ends and it's got this long edge, so I can like really spread it, and then I can get into little areas with the corner. This one I thought would be perfect for getting into little areas, and I suppose it works all right, but the edge just doesn't compare. And I also, because it's so small, it doesn't hold a lot of paint, so I use it mostly for digging clogs out of my paint tubes. I recommend you do this yourself in your own studio. This is a studio hack. Studio hack number one. It would be better actually just to have like a nail or something, but guess what? I never thought of that. It would also be better to have a cap for my paint. A chopstick would be optimal right now. So, oh, see, now it's all pushed in. Okay, I'm gonna use the end of this brush and make it go in even further. There we go. Now I know it's in. I always practice safe unclogging. Then, I squirt it out. Using my favorite spatula, mix these colors together. We're using dioxazine purple, white, and burnt sienna. The burnt sienna has red in it, so that will make the purple warmer while also subduing it, turning it gray. And that's what I want. And the white takes the gray and makes it lighter. That's a tint. I'm tinting it. And I'm adjusting the tone by adding the red from the burnt sienna. Okay, that's good. Now, I take my favorite spatula and I do this.
Now remember, the CIA promoted abstract expressionism so that Russia would be like, whoa, the Americans are way ahead of us in aesthetic technology. Fact is, we're probably way behind them. Although, we had invented the comic strip. That's what the CIA should have promoted. That would have ended the Cold War in 1930. Now then, this is, uh... But, you know, anytime you get the government involved. They never ask the artist to, you know, contribute to world events. They just, you know, want to use our skills. So then... Which I would have been glad to do had they promoted me in my comics. Had I been alive. Okay, so we got the orange, the yellow, and the purple. I better add some darker purple to that so I get some... I'm going to paint like an abstract expressionist painter. Sort of. I'm not actually an abstract expressionist, but I might look like one. My painting might look like it's abstract expressionist. I see nobody is commenting. Or is somebody commenting and I just can't see it? I don't know. I'm not sure how it works because nobody's ever commented while I've been live. I have one concurrent viewer. Who knows what that will turn into. Yeah, we got, uh, let's put a thing here. So my goal is to kiss up to the CIA so that they promote my work. And then I can promote the status quo, and then I'll be shared all over social media, including YouTube, and become Rich Ast Scrouse. That's going to be my middle name. Rich. This is going to go here. Oh yeah, I like the way that purple goes over the circle there, the black circle. It doesn't matter so much if I paint the side of this painting. In fact, it's better if I don't, so I can leave some of the white edge, because it's going to go inside a cradle, black cradle, because it has a narrow profile. All right, the CIA straddles the earth and the heavens, the underworld and the overworld. In fact, you might even say that Jack Vance's novel, The Eyes of the Overworld, was coded information by the CIA. You might say that. I'm just making it up. I have no proof. I, you know, I don't even have not even read the book for 10 years, but you might say anything you want. And if you say it fast enough, everybody will believe you. We're looking at darkness here, falling across the land, because the midnight hour is close at hand. Got the puppet. Obviously, I'm gonna have to go over this puppet again because schmutz, schmutz down. I'm gonna I'd have to put the name of the CIA Santos in here again. <sighs> Standing on. This is part of the design. I'm not a fan of, but uh, we can say it's the Earth and the Moon. We can say it's the Earth and the Heavens. I like that idea. Typically. When there's something like that in an icon, they actually show a globe, not a symbol, especially not an astrological log symbol. But, you know, I guess I'm making it up so I can do what I want. Santos. I love the saints. I think they're fun. I think they're funner than Jesus. I wish, when I was a kid, that they would have taught me a prayer to Saint Elijah and Saint Solomon. Old Testament characters are typically not thought of as saints, and why not? I don't know, but the Spanish community has no problem 
the Hispanic community has no problem making the saints. You can buy the candles in the Mexican grocery store. I love it. Saint Elijah was the best. He was the biggest badass. Like you go down and challenge the prophets of Baal to a duel, and then kill them all because they lost. That's the ultimate MMA fighting, Daddyo. He was the ultimate bro. I always wanted to be like Elijah. All right, so is that good? Do we got it? Does that cover it? I don't know if it's expressionistic abstract enough. It looks like a mess. I suppose that's what makes it abstract expressions. The messiness. Let's add some more different blue here. Oh, my shirt's ripping. Saint CIA. Best idea I ever had. And as soon as I melt all this pewter in my oven, because you can, I will have Saint CIA medals to offer to all my true fans. Maybe not 10,000 true fans, but if you get in on the ground floor, daddy -o, for sure, you too could be a true fan. I mean, you too can't be a true fan because they don't even know I exist and probably never will. And do I want them? They're operatives. Okay, we can see that his leg is too too short, but that's just the way it is. It's all we're gonna have to live with. Okay, let's put the letters in there again. I'm watching a ton of anime. I, I'm i in the middle of three shows right now. Well, I watched Ultraman. There's a new Ultraman, Netflix original, I believe it is, and it's done in a CGI three-dimensional style. There's a Ghost in the Shell show, which is done in a CG three-dimensional style, and I don't know where it falls in the Ghost in the Shell mythos. All I know is that there were two movies. Apparently there's other things too, but this show, Ghost in the Shell, the animation is not as effective as it is in the three-dimensional CGI Ultraman. Ultraman has the is very natural. It looks natural and yet they still capture the anime look of the characters. Whereas in Ghost in the Shell, the girl, the ghost in, in the shell with the purple hair, her head is like too big and it, it's like weird and it is the characters are just kind of not right. You get used to it though. Uh, 
So I can't say that they're not right, but there's just something unca uncanny about it. Whereas Ultraman looks right. It's very eloquent the way these characters are expressed in the three-dimensional space of CGI. But you can get used to it. And in fact, I kind of like the way they do it in Ghost in the Shell. They actually show lines, black lines, where people's cheekbones are, even though it's modeled. And then you can see the light change, right, when they move their heads. The storyline in Ultraman is more gripping. It really grip, gets you going if you're a man, young man or a boy or a puer like I am. Uh, the story of the boy coming into his power and becoming a man is perfect. The arc is perfect. You know, he resists becoming Ultraman. He doesn't like the idea of killing aliens. And uh, eventually, he's in a situation where he has to and he, like, takes on the power and the mantle. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, I'm not through with that one yet, so we'll see where that goes. But there's a... The new threat are these super human people who can control machines and they can move faster than bullets. Let's see, there's another two other really great ones that are anime, Netflix originals, but have, don't have the look of anime. They do, but it's different. It's more wonky. One is Killer7, which is hilarious, and then the one is something about a dragon, where there's this woman in the military who flies a dragon. And, to fly, and all dragons are disguised. They used to be disguised as kites hundreds of years ago. Now they're disguised as jet fighters. And the dragon has to eat her. She's like, it swallows her. She's like in its throat, controlling it from in its inside its throat. And then it pukes her out when it's done. It's Japanese are so wonderful. I recommend all the Netflix original anime. They're just so wonderful. And then all the other anime is wonderful too, no matter how formulaic it might be. I watched one that was very formulaic. It was called, Can you, Is It Okay to Pick Up Chicks in the Dungeon? And there was another one very similar to it called, these are all on Netflix right now, you can watch them. It's called uh, Sword Art Online. These shows are almost the same show. One, you have to go into a dungeon and set up like a video game. You get to the, you go level by level, you get to the level boss, defeat the boss, and you continue. And the boss resets. And so in this fantasy world where you do this. Sword Art Online, they go into a video game. And they're trapped in the video game. They can't escape it. And they live there for a couple years. But it's the same thing. You go into a tower and you go up the levels. And it gets harder and harder as you go, right? And you have to defeat the level boss and everything. Sword Art Online is a, is a well-done show. It's a little formulaic in the end. The, the bad guy is not as, you know, it's just a standard dichotomy. But the pickup chicks in the dungeon is interesting. They've got a great depiction of Hermes in there. When Hermes enters the picture, he's fascinating. He disrupts things and causes them to move ahead faster. It's a very keen understanding. Which is why I like Santosia. He operates in the Hermetic realm. So we got his hand holding the knife. We got his eagle head. Let's finish this up and get it done so we can get, get out of here and get on with our lives. I know we've got better things to do, Cave Dweller, than to watch a guy like me paint a painting like this. So let's get this thing over with. Oh, jeez. My white is polluted. I should have shifted that over, eh? It doesn't look right when it's offset. What can I say? It's only the second painting of the icon of Santo Sia. I don't know how to paint icons. I don't. Something about. Dang it. Symbolism, symbology. I just don't. I don't know the ins and outs. Uh, okay, well, I think he needs a little bit of pink just because I love pink. Because pink is the awesomest. And we're going to use quinacridone red because it's my favorite color to make pink with. There's a little kid walking by with a doll. No, it's a bag of candy. 
I don't know, it's a bag. He's wearing a mask, that's funny. And this kid walking by, not with a mask, but with a shower cap. I see the black folks in the hood where my grandma lived with shower caps all the time back in the 70s. And then all of a sudden they stopped wearing shower caps. I'm like, well, first of all, why are they wearing shower caps? And then what happened to the shower cap? The shower cap fell out of favor when low-riding pants came into favor, I guess. And there's a kid with a shower cap. Back in style. All right, here's the pink. I don't want to overdo it with this pink, but... Am I overdoing it? You let me know. This actually reminds me a lot of that Alan Moore comic that was illustrated by Bill Sinkowitz about conspiracy theories about the CIA. <laughs> oh, it's all coming together. Oh. Okay, so that's where paintings are falling over. Let's uh, get some more here. That's good. And then we'll do a dab. Okay, so how is the movement going in this? Uh, so this is going to be abstract expressionist, right? That's my, that was my, my intended goal. I'm going to add some of this purple to this pink. Let's see what that does over here. It does almost nothing. Oh, cave dweller. You don't know how hard I try. Okay, well, we're going to call this done for the day. Let's see what, what we can do here. You know... Let's put these aside, and let's finish this big one that we've been staring at all these months. Let's get this big one out of our face. What do I need to do? Okay, so I've... I'm running out of white. i got to order some white. I have to order paint now. I used to be able to just walk into the shop, doo -doo -doo, get the junk. i got to order it. And I'm not going to order it from the art store that took over Milwaukee even though they have a huge online presence. And you know why? Because they close their doors. That's it. You know what? You know what I hate? I hate... Uh, okay, I'm not even going to talk about it. You know what I hate? I hate things that aren't entertaining, like this show. And when I say hate, that's strong. I'm just going to say I despise. If this was a Netflix show, it would... I would... Let's just do a pirate version on the Chinese Netflix, which is called Flixnet. I'm peeling paint off my palette right now just because it, it's there and I'm obsessive and I like the way it feels when it comes off. And I like the way it looks. This is the front. That's what I look at. I look at this side. This is what you get to see when you peel it off. Isn't that cool? It's like an abstract expression of speaking! Uh-huh. What have I learned? Uh-huh. Okay, that's what I've learned. Got to make it darker. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to add burnt umber. Oh my goodness. The burnt umber is getting all twisty because for some reason it's getting all twisty. What does burnt umber do? To dioxazine purple. We'll find out. And then we'll put it in like nobody's business. Oh baby, that is darkness.
that's called an overtone or an undertone or a deft tone, some kind of tone. Painting jargon for jargon. This is what I, where I wanted the darkness, right over here. Oops, I shouldn't be leaning this up against the painting because it's wet on the sides. Oh well, that's the way it goes. You know what, Team Cave Dweller? I. Oh, I wanted to tell you. I met somebody today. Her name is. Irene, the Hug Lady? <laughs> Something, the Hug Lady. She goes all over America and hugs people. That's her shtick. She hugs people. You can find her on Instagram. She started in Milwaukee, just distributed in hugs. And, uh. She hugs the police. She's like. I don't care. I ain't afraid of the police. I hugged the police, and now I'm not afraid of the police. Now I got white in my burnt umber. This is... Okay. What? Come on, man. All right. Police have a hard time. I thanked her for hugging the police. The police got it rough. Everybody hates them. Because it's the cop's job to make your life miserable. That's it. They're just there to ruin your fun. Sometimes when we try to have fun, we overstep the bounds of other people. Oh, you know what I th thought about law? I learned something about law today on the Gordon White Show. He's talking about a the aboriginal use of the word law. The law of the cosmos, basically. So, for instance, the wildfires in Australia are the consequences of disobeying the law of just letting nature take its course. Like, let the natural fires come through and, you know, not mismanaging our forests. Etc. Santo CIA, where have you been today? God only knows your ways. Cause you won't tell, Santo CIA. Come help me today. Make my enemies pay. Oh yeah, I can just see it now. He's like the new Elijah. Uh, we got Santo CIA. We got the crossroads and the zodiac. Oh, I gotta add some yellow. Using the Azo yellow orange, a color I never use. I bought it. Because nickel azo was a really made by golden acrylic. It was a very wonderful transparent yellow that I loved in the, the nearest I could find in Utrecht brand was azo yellow. And I don't think it's, I guess it's somewhat transparent, but it's very orange. You can see. You can't, you can see, put it over, you can't see. Well, we'll put it over here and then you'll be able to see. You see? Santo CIA, won't you show the way? Make my enemies pay. Santo CIA, so discord amongst uh, the hordes. As I was thinking about the operations of Santo CIA, I was thinking of that story in the Bible where one of the judges has the Israel or Judah, I don't know who, they had the, the arm, those armies, they had to go into the enemy encampment with pots on their torches. And then on a signal, they were all, all throughout the camp, they'd smash the pots and the torches were all like, sink! Suddenly the whole camp is lit up and it caused a panic and everybody ran around like idiots killing each other and anyway I always thought that was cool that's definitely a CIA operation I mean method sewing discord 
Of course, now we believe that the CIA sows discord amongst the American people. I mean, that's the common, common thing. Who knows, man? And who even really cares, really? I mean, what are you going to do? Can't do nothing about it. Mind control going on by every mediated source laterally passed along by your friends and neighbors. So the conspiratorial idea of current events is that they've got us right where they want us. Policing each other. Just like they did in Soviet Russia. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I, I don't. I don't like the way this is turning out. I'm calling it almost done. Now then, let's move on to this. Ah, they, these walls should match. They don't quite yet. This needs to show a change in light. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to make that happen. Let's see, what needs to happen next? I don't know, so I'm getting a different painting out. This is almost done. How does it look in a little version? Looking at what you're seeing helps me decide. See, I put all this blue on with a knife, and it turns out that it, it wasn't transparent enough. Got to add some color. We're almost done. We're up to, I'm gonna, going only in, going to do 45 minutes from now on, or at least today, because an hour is so much time. It's just so much time, cave dweller. So mucho tiempo. You can see I just made it, I don't know, better or worse, but I made it. Uh, so this, so this, over this. <sighs> it just gets back and forth, back and forth. Now, Send out some more mails. Oh, well, I got them ready. It took me three hours to find some galleries to, that I could send mailings to. His eye.
Huh. Yeah. I don't know. You can tell I like pink, though. I keep telling myself, I'm not going to use it this time. I'm not going to use pink. And then I do. Like, it's even in here. But it is not in here. Let's get back to this. Maybe I can do something on this today. I seem, I seem to be having a, a moment. A moment of non-awesomeness. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make this wall darker. By adding blue. And the magic sauce. Glazing fluid is the magic sauce. It's the sauce of magic. It's a sauce that makes things transparent. I really don't need to add a lot of it for Prussian blue because Prussian blue is so transparent already. Mm. Magic sauce. I love you. We live in a shoe. How much time have I been broadcasting so far? Is there any indication of it at all? No. Nothing on screen. Getting a brush loaded with the juice. Better add some water. Look at this. I can just smear it all over the place. You see that? Oh yeah, baby. That's the power of transparency. I'm going to add some of that to Panama Dorado's room here. Oh, I hesitate to do so, but I've got to mix it with some water so it's thinner. Glazing fluid is great, but I've found that it's too thick at, at times like this. That's a little better. Actually, actually, it's a lot better. She stands out more in her own bedroom, in the in her own space there, and the stuff behind her looks sub, is subdued. Those white outlines really stood out. They stood out too far. Hey, brother, that's it. I'm done for the day. Uh, let's uh, ask for another blessing from Disco Jesus before we d depart. I haven't invoked Disco Jesus enough. Just talking too much about the CIA and Santo Sia. When it's all about Disco Jesus.
Thank you, Team Cave Dweller. Remember, everywhere you go, there I am with you. I mean, well, I mean, Disco Jesus is there with you. Now, I'm going to sign off. And Team Cave Dweller, just never forget. It's true love between me and you. True frickin' love. <laughs>